All right, let's go back up to place one more time. We want T9 axles again. We want the wheel. We want the tire. And this time we also want the windshield. Windshield should be there. T9 windshield. Open that up. Click to set them down. And again, these three we want a copy of. Control C, Control V will copy and paste. Um, these guys should be pretty old hat for you. If you don't remember, we want to use an insert constraint. We want to zoom in and click on the edge, that inside facing edge and the outside edge of where it goes. Hit apply, do the same kind of thing here. Want that outside edge and if we look at it from this side, it'd be that one right there. We're going to get the wheels put together first. There, that's looking good. The outside of that and the outside of that. There. And lastly, the inside of this should be touching right there on the plastic. And the same kind of thing will happen on this side. That's going to be touching here on this part of the plastic. So, wheels should go on fairly quickly. Windshield could be a pain. Let's take a look. Uh, we'll switch to a mate constraint. So that's right over here. Mates, this one. Zoom in close so we can get that edge. We want a flat edge. Something I'm not seeing yet. It's at a funny angle. Doesn't help that it's transparent, does it? All right. So you want a flat edge for the bottom of that windshield, which you can kind of see. Come on. Oh, now it doesn't want to rotate. There. Bottom edge of that windshield wants to go over the top of this and attach onto these guys. Now I want to rotate this around, and uh, just in case those edges are swept in, I'm going to use my other trick. So I know it's at the right height. I want to make sure it's facing the correct direction. So I have this highlighted. So I click the plus sign next to T9 windshield, open up my origin folder. I want to line up with the passenger section, open up the origin folder for that. I use my mate constraints. I want the YZ plane there the YZ plane there and that is not facing the correct direction so instead of a mate constraint I'm going to switch that to a flush now it's facing the correct direction hit apply and it should still be able to move this way I do not want it to okay I don't know that using these axes will help me with that. It definitely helped me to center it, so that's good. Um, we're just going to hope that this is not at a funny angle. If it is, it'll yell at us. It's not. So I can say those two are mated together. Hit apply. And that's your finished car. Now, if I go to a home view, it's upside down. If I change this view cube, so if I say that this is now my home. It's at a that's a, at a weird funny angle too. So pro tip for you, even if you change this view cube and you save it as a new orientation for the home view, which you can totally do, it's still going to mess up when you bring it into an exploded view, All right? So instead, what we want to do is we're going to go back to place again, and we're going to grab something that has flat edges on it. Okay, we're going to put this piece in here. And we are going to ground it. So if you right click on it, go all the way down to grounded. You also have that option if you watch when I grab my passenger base. If I right click here, I can say place grounded at the origin. So I could do that too. But let's say you forget to do that because a lot of people do. Put it down here, make sure it's highlighted blue, right click, and then check that it is grounded. Okay. Now, I am going to use this as a reference to get this aligned correctly. 
For example, I'm going to say that I want that to be mated to this, which means that's going to turn itself around and snap it down in place. Okay, then I'm going to say that I want, because I don't want the car facing this direction, that's weird, I want that to be mated to this side over here. Okay, so now those planes are lined up, and if I go to my home view, that looks good, my front view is good, my side view is good, this is the way that I want it oriented. Now I can just click and delete that, and if I want to, I can grab this middle section here and ground that, so it's stuck in place now, and no one can mess with it.